Hello class, this is section 3.2 and in this video we are going to talk about smooth and piecewise smooth functions. A smooth function is simply a function that is continuous and has a continuous derivative too. This is the definition of smooth that we are going to use in this class. Bear in mind that the definition of smooth isn't standard, there are some alternative definitions but this is the only one that we are going to use here. Let's go through an example. Perhaps the easiest example would be polynomial functions. Let's try fx equals x squared. This is a continuous function. If you draw the graph, it simply looks like this. And you don't have to lift your pen while drawing it. And the derivative is simply going to be 2x, which is, again, a continuous function. And we conclude that this is smooth because it is continuous and its derivative is also continuous. Now let's consider another example. gx equals the absolute value of x. This function is also continuous. It looks like this. However, its derivative is a little complicated. It turns out we differentiate the derivative when it's positive. It's just 1 because um, gx equals x when the absolute value is positive. For x positive, it's equal to minus 1 for x negative, um, and it doesn't exist when x is 0. So the derivative of g looks like this, and this clearly is not continuous. We have to lift our pencil to draw the graph. And we conclude that gx is not smooth because the derivative is not continuous. And you can already see here the reasoning behind the terminology smooth. In smooth functions, the curves tend to be very gentle, whereas in continuous but non-smooth functions, you often see these really sharp turns over here like uh, you see in the absolute value of x. Next, we'll have to introduce the meaning of the term jump discontinuity. We say that a function has a jump discontinuity at x0, now let's call our function fx, if the limit on the left and the limit on the right don't agree. So if a limit of x to x0 from the negative direction and the limit fx x from the positive direction do not agree. Geometrically, and here's the reason why it's called a jump discontinuity, looks like this. You've seen one already. Um, the example from before of g prime x, here is a jump discontinuity. There's a jump here to here. So we say that this function has a jump discontinuity at zero. Because at 0, the limit from the right is 1, and the limit from the left is minus 1. Here's another example, a more complicated function, something like that maybe. And you see there's a small jump discontinuity from here to here. Now how do we write down jump discontinuities in terms of uh, functions, not in graphs, but in terms of writing down a function algebraically? Here's an example. So fx equals to x for x less than 1. We normally have these brackets over here. We can say that fx is equal to x squared plus 2 when x is greater than 1. So you can see at 1, the limit from the right hand, so the, from the left hand side, from the negative direction, is going to be a limit of fx equals 
limit of x to 1 minus of x equals to 1, obviously. But the limit from the positive direction is going to be equal to the limit of uh, x squared plus 2, and this is equal to 3. So you see that the limit of fx from the left and the right don't agree, and therefore there's a jump discontinuity at 1. Finally, this is the main definition of this section. A piecewise smooth function is one that is made up of finitely many smooth functions separated by these jump discontinuities. Let's look at an example. Uh, let's try one if fx equals 1 for x less than minus 1. fx equals x squared for, uh, let's say, x squared plus 1 for x lying between minus 1 and 2. Let's try this. And fx equals x for x bigger than 2. Right, so we see that the, all these three terms are smooth functions. They're polynomials and therefore they're smooth. If we differentiate them, you get a smooth function too. And they have, uh, then they are broken up in certain ways, but we can see that uh, these are jump discontinuities because the limit from the left and the right aren't the same. Let's draw the graph to see a bit more clearly. This is the graph, and we can see that it starts out at, at 1, 2, this way, until we hit 2 over here, which is going to be 2, and then it's going to be here again. These are the three pieces, and we can see that we have jumps here, 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 to here. So two jumps, but all three components are smooth, and therefore this is a piecewise smooth function.